Alright guys, hello YouTube. Um, I'm going to apologize for this next video because I have terrible, terrible, terrible ADD or ADHD, whatever the fuck it is. Okay? But just keep that in mind while you're watching it. Alright, enjoy! Man, I cannot tell you guys how good it feels to be back on my bike. Like, and it's, it's pretty nice out today, so, oh, it feels so good. Good! Oh, yes! Man, if you, those of you that, that ride on a regular basis, you guys know what I'm feeling. It's, just, it's like this, uh, you're just connected with the bike, you know? It's just a, a freeing feeling, you know? like. You just feel free. I, I can't really explain it other than that. I mean, you feel connected to the road, but it's it's just more than that. It's a great feeling. So something that I uh, wanted to to cover. I, I've seen a couple of videos on it, but not a lot. It's a uh, and I actually had to go through this when I was younger, uh, when I was still living, like, when I was a teenager. And it's uh, how to convince your parents that if, if you want to get a motorcycle, like, you're, you're 16, 17, maybe 18, you're still living at home or whatever. How do you convince your parents to let you get a motorcycle? I mean, because most parents say, that's a big, oh, fuck, skunk. That's a big uh, negative. <laughs> and if you've ever been in that situation, you know how hard it can be to hard to, to be to convince your parents to let you get it. So I'm going to cover a couple uh, a couple things you can do to better your chances at letting them get letting letting you get a bike. <laughs> There's the uh, the sheriff or the sheriff guy, the park ranger. So that means I can do wheelies. Is there ice? I think the lake is covered in ice. Oh, I just racked myself. Ouch! Got my right nut a little bit. <laughs> That's inappropriate. Double T, stop it! Oh, dust. Alright. But I'm wondering if I can do a couple wheelies. See, see, normally the park ranger is, he lives right there. But since I saw him back there, I know I should be okay. There are sheriffs around here though, so I kind of got to be... Hopefully these people don't care. I mean, lots of people live out here. My dad actually used to live out here at the lake. And most of them I don't think will care me doing this shit. So. <laughs> wow, nice. These are all second gear, by the way. Man, I'm not doing too bad. I haven't wheeled in a long time, too. Okay, anyways, back to the freaking point of the video. Uh, <laughs> how to let your and by the way, don't do that stuff if you if you don't let them watch this video <laughs> if you're trying to let them or convince them to let you get a bike. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what I did, I didn't get my bike until I was 20, but I was still living at home at the time, and I I mean my parents still had a lot. Man, there's so much dust and stuff. I gotta be careful. 
they still had a lot of input on what I what I did and let's go careful Lots of dust or gravel and stuff. I don't know how well this tire, this rear tire will grip. I don't have my new one yet. I just ordered it today, so should be in. Man, I'm having a terrible fucking time staying on topic. What the fuck? Anyways, check out the geese. Oh my god, my ADHD is just. God, stop it. <laughs> okay, so you go up to your parents. And what you want to do is basically put off the, the vibe that you're going to be irresponsible, all right? And if you, you've been un irresponsible in the past, it may be a little tougher. But what you want to do is say, hey, look, I'm going to say you're going to take the, the MSF course and, and talk about how it teaches about responsibility and it's going to prepare you for what the, what the road holds, okay? And another really good tool that I used was I said I'm only going to ride in certain places, okay? Because they're like the highway that goes through uh, Wichita, it's dangerous as hell. I mean, you guys see me ride it, but I mean, during rush hour, there's like crazy people with like bitches talking on their cell phones and texting and all kinds of shit. But yeah, just to say I'm only going to ride in these certain areas at this, like I'm not going to ride at night, shit like that. I mean... Obviously, you're not going to follow that if you're anything like me. I don't want to do first gear. I'm going to go second gear. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm like wheeling on hills. Okay, so yeah, that's a good tool to use. Um, say you're only going to, you're going to confine yourself to these areas. Okay. Let's see, other, other points. Um, tell them about the, the statistics for, uh, for motorcycle. Uh, this is a dangerous one for motorcycle deaths because um, using a helmet like increases your chance of surviving a motorcycle crash by like a shit ton. I mean, you could use that. Depends on your parents, really. Like, you gotta be weary with that one because talking about any any sort of danger with a motorcycle can backfire pretty bad but that can work with with certain parents okay like talk about how you're going to wear all of the gear and that will protect you and you you've been saving up and all that we're gonna go see the ice it's the end of the line but yeah that's a good a good point that i think i talked about that like I had already bought my helmet before I bought my bike. And so... Whew, so I was already good with that. I was like, listen, wearing a helmet, I mean, I'm going to be pretty... Pretty safe. Oh, what else did I say? I talked about the MSF course. That's pretty solid. This sand is, like, really weird. Yeah, I talked about the MS, of course. That's just water. Oh, shit. I am not being very good on topics. And pretty much you just gotta keep keep bugging them about it, you know? It took me a while to... Actually, what I kind of did, my dad was kind of flip-flop. He was like... He had... I'm gonna turn around. He had two, two kind of personalities. One day, he would be like, yeah, you can get a bike. And then the other day, he'd be like, fuck, no, you're not getting a bike. Dude, that's just the way, kind of way he is. And my mom was always against it. But so what I did is I waited for that time where my dad was like, yeah, we, we'll get you a bike because he rides. So what I did is I didn't even tell my mom about it. And uh, so it was the day I was buying my R6, okay? We were getting ready to go pick it up. I had already gotten the loan and all that taken care of. And we were getting ready to go get it. And then that's when we went over to my mom's house. And 
my dad kind of told her, which he, he didn't know that I hadn't told her yet either. <laughs> so it was pretty, it wasn't very fun. <sighs> You know what, guys? I'm getting pretty good at wheelies. <laughs> Keep practicing. Okay, so that, yeah, I would say those are a couple good starting points at trying to get a bike. Uh, the MSF, talking about uh, where you're going to limit yourself to where you're riding and what time you're going to ride. Um, talk about your gear, how you're, you're all prepared. Um, talk about response it's all about responsibility okay you need to you need to prove to them that you're going to be responsible enough and it, it really just depends on your parents but yeah those are some little some tips to start you out let's get another wheelie here <sighs> I wanted to give a shout out to this guy. He is a freaking awesome moto vlogger. I don't know why he doesn't have more subs. Like the, the video I watch, I posted it on my Facebook. Uh, the one about, uh, what was it? Food labels or some shit, yeah. <laughs> the, the food labels video that he has out. Oh, it's so funny. I, I, I laugh my ass off. So you guys should go check him out. His name is Shifty Clutch. Here's the link right there. Shifty Clutch. And he was the guy that I did the, the Moto Vlog and Dance video response to. Uh, yeah, he's a really cool guy. You should go check him out. I mean, I, you don't have to. I, you don't have to subscribe. Right? Just go watch him. And if, he, if you think he's funny like I do, which I think he's hilarious, then yeah, give him a sub. Because he only has like 100 subs and he's been putting out pretty good videos for a while now. So, yeah, go check him out. Yeah, and congratulations to my buddy AK for passing me, dickhead. <laughs> you guys have a good day. I'm going to pull a good wheelie for you guys for my ending, for my outro. You ready? I'm going to try and get balance point. Not that way. <laughs> one more! How about one more, guys? 